I'm quite amazed about this channel that I'm about to talk about. He's another one of those YouTubers I just recently found out, and there's quite a bit to cover. So, who is Company Mad? How the hell did I find out about this YouTuber? Why am I so amazed about the, his content that he's making? And why is he all of a sudden on my favorite YouTubers list? Well, Company Man is a YouTuber that makes videos relating to businesses, mainly on their history and talks about their business in some way. The first video I found out about him was his Kmart video, which talked about the decline of Kmart and how it became, well, whatever the hell it is now. I found his editing to be quite appealing to watch, so I decided to watch more of his content and eventually I subscribed to his channel. He takes a business, big or small, and makes videos on them based on their declines, stuff you didn't know, or a positive video on a company. He basically has many ways to talk about a company and make it into a video. Here's a snippet if you're curious to know what his content is like. Attention Kmart shoppers. Everyone think back to the last time you went to a Kmart. Chances are it wasn't a great experience or it was well over a decade ago. But here is a chart of the number of Kmart stores from 2006 to today. But would you be surprised if you thought this was his first channel? Well, it is his most popular channel. He has another channel called Basketball's Best in which is his first channel, but still has around 6,000 subscribers. He makes basketball related videos if you couldn't tell from the name of his channel, but I'm not too much of a basketball type of person, so if you don't like companies but you like basketball, then I would recommend this channel for you. Nothing really changes between the two channels other than the topic that he's talking about. I advise any teen to stay away. The more I think about it, the more Kobe's words ring true. Dwight just doesn't seem to have the mentality of a champion. Wait! You thought I was done now? Nah, psych! There's still one more channel he has, so keep on playing this video. Like, what the hell are you doing here? This isn't the animal documentary channel. This is my channel you're watching. Turn that off. All right, thank you. His last channel he has is called Mike's Thoughts. He makes movie reviews and will eventually upload more stuff on this channel. His editing is still the same, which is what keeps me watching his videos on not only one channel, but two of his channels. Maybe his basketball channel once I get interested in basketball. We have four main characters trying to trap themselves inside a shopping mall. The fact that there's only four characters throughout this movie really helps the viewer care about them. So you may be asking, why is he on this list? Well, to put it simple, his editing may look simple, but the way he puts it together, like his footage, his pictures, music, and etc., really fits in and brings me to keep on watching more of his videos. And I'm very amazed from the work that he's accomplished as he started his channel just nine months ago on his basketball channel with absolute no background in video production. He then later started his Company Man channel back in May, and in just about seven months, he went from zero subscribers to an astonishing over 100,000 subscribers. It's not so common to see small YouTubers grow at that rate. I believe that this YouTuber will reach 1 million subscribers by the end of next year if he continues at this rate as his content is appealing to watch and will keep on attracting more viewers. 